citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis at home and abroad, parents, students, members of civil society and the general public who contribute so much to the education of our young people. It is my distinct pleasure for the fifth consecutive year to bring to you the Minister of Education's National Report on the Performance of Students in the Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examination, CAPE, the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate, the CSEC, or O-Level, and the Caribbean Certificate of Secondary Level Competence, the CCSLC, all offered by the Caribbean Examinations Council, CXC. Over the last four years, we have witnessed stellar performance from our students, and this year, 2014, is no exception. CAPE, the Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examination, is taken by students in the Division of Arts, Sciences, and General Studies at the CFB College and at the Nevis Sixth Form College. Students who write CAPE examinations at Unit 1 and Unit 2 would take them in selected subject areas commonly taken Unit 1 in their first year of study and Unit 2 in their second year. The CAPE program is flexible and allows students a maximum of five years in which to obtain an associate's degree from a combination of units that they pursue. The total number of candidates at our colleges sitting the 2014 May-June CAPE examinations was 454. Exams were written in 40 units across St. Kitts and Nevis. There were 1,636 subject entries with 1,383 entries or 85% returning passing grades. The CAPE results for the CFB College for the academic year ending 2014 featured 335 students who registered for the CAPE examinations. There were 1,198 registered subject entries, 57% or 675 being Unit 1 courses, and 43% or 523 of them being Unit 2 courses. Of these, 86% or 1,034 entries returned a passing grade at the CFBC. Of the Unit 1 courses, the most popularly taken were Caribbean Studies, Communication Studies, Economics, Management of Business, Information Technology, and Sociology. High levels of registration were also realized in Accounting, Biology, Law, and Pure Mathematics. Given the trend of performance in mathematics throughout the Caribbean region, it is quite heartening to point to 34 students at the CFBC and 20 at the Nevis Sixth Form College sitting the pure mathematics examination at Cape this year. This is quite commendable indeed. On the other hand, French, Spanish, literatures in English, physics, art and design, geography, computer science, and applied mathematics were the least favored Unit 1 subject choices. For Unit 2, most popular were economics, information technology, law, management of business, and sociology. The following subjects returned a 100% pass rate at Cape Unit 1. Art and design, computer science, digital media introduced by CXC just last year, French, geography, history, literatures in English, physics, and Spanish. The Unit 2 courses producing a 100% pass rate were the following. Applied Mathematics, Art and Design, Biology, French, Geography, Management of Business, Physics, Pure Mathematics, and Sociology. I now turn my attention to the Nevis Sixth Form College, where the CAPE results show a total of 119 candidates registered for 438 subject entries. Of the total number of entries, 49% were for Unit 1 courses, while 51% were for Unit 2. Caribbean Studies, Communication Studies, Economics, Information Technology, and Sociology were the most popular Unit 1 courses. On the other hand, at Unit 2, the popular subjects were Biology, Law, and Management of Business. For Unit 1, the following subjects attained a 100% pass rate, Art and Design, Communication Studies, Geography, Physics, and Spanish, whereas at Unit 2, Biology, Chemistry, and Information Technology achieved the same result. Over the past year, we have seen an overall pass rate at CAPE examinations at the Nevis Sixth Form College at 80%. 
I wish to congratulate the students and lecturers at the Navy Sixth Form College and the CFB College for their commitment to the task that help our students achieve another year of sterling academic performance at Cape. I also commend the parents for their continued support and encouragement. The Ministry of Education wishes to strongly encourage higher participation rates at Cape in foreign languages, mathematics, and natural sciences. This year, given our observation in recent years, we have collaborated with the SIDF to implement the REACH program that not only should spur increased enrollment at the CFBC and the Navy Sixth Form College, but this innovative program has been designed to increase student enrollment in mathematics, sciences, and foreign languages. I now provide the names of the most outstanding CAPE students in the Federation for the year 2014. Firstly, we have Mr. Christian Bryden of the CFBC, who got four grade ones at CAPE. Candace Green, Jamal Jabasu, Tamal Phillip, all of the CFBC with three grade one passes for this year. 2014. For CAPE Year 2, the most outstanding students are as follows. For the Navy Sixth Form College, Chloe Williams with four Grade 1 passes. Again, Ernesta Liburd, Imani Keynes, Chantal Hobson, Journal Irish, Juan Pablo Lynch, all attaining three Grade 1 passes. The latter two from the CFBC. From among the second year students from the Navy Six Form College or the CFBC, the winner of the state scholarship and the runner-up for 2014 will be named after a full assessment of the student's performance. I now turn my attention to the CISEC or O-level examinations where a total number of candidates across the entire country sitting the May-June 2014 examinations at CISEC is 700 and 76. Exams were written across 32 subject areas among all schools in both Nevis and St. Kitts. There were 4,683 subject entries with 3,707 of them returning passing grades for a national average pass rate at CSEC or O-level examinations for 2014 of 79%, while the Caribbean region returned a pass rate of just 61% exceeding the regional average by 18 percentage points is indeed highly laudable. My ministry is quite pleased that the following subjects have turned out 100% pass rates across all schools. Home economic management in particular, building technology, construction, and physical education and sports. Pass rates of 90% and above were additionally realized in agricultural science, single and double awards, closing and textile, information technology, and Electronic Document Preparation and Management, or EDPM. School departments responsible for these subjects are to be highly commended for this outstanding achievement. English language returned a pass rate of 68%, which is particularly commendable given that there has been an increase in the number of students sitting the English exams this year. A further note is that this 68% pass rate compares very favorably with the 56% pass rate in the subject regionally. Mathematics has put forward its best performance in several years, returning a 64% pass rate compared to the regional average of just 46%. While we are proud of the vast improvement in mathematics this year, for sure, we take note of the need for the exertion of greater effort in this apparently challenging subject and the need to get more students sitting and passing the examination. I now take a brief look at individual schools starting with the Bastia High School, which entered 119 students offering themselves in 26 subject areas. Of the 698 subject entries, 86.96%, the highest percentage pass rate in the Federation for 2014, or 670 returned passing grades, which is an improvement over the 79.74% obtained last year, 2013. 100% pass rates were achieved in food and nutrition, home economics, information technology, music, office administration, principles of accounting, Spanish, technical drawing, EDPM, physical education and sports, 
and building technology in woods. The Keon High School entered 97 candidates for the 2014 CSEC examinations in 27 subject areas. Of the 475 entries, 66% or 315 returned passing grades, which is a slight decline over the 73% obtained in 2013. 100% pass rates were registered in clothing and textile, French, information technology, EDPM, physical education and sport, and building technology in woods. Unacceptable performances have been observed in Caribbean history, English A, economics, geography, and social studies, all of which achieved a pass rate between 33% and 46%. At the Charlestown Secondary School for the 2014 examinations, there were 131 candidates in 27 subject areas. Of the 837 subject entries, 77% or 642 returned passing grades. 100% pass rates were realized in geography, information technology, integrated science, EDPM, and building technology in construction. Of concern is the less than 50% pass rate obtained in social studies and electrical and electronic technology. The Immaculate Conception Catholic School, ICCS, entered 51 students this year in 18 subject areas. Of the 160 subject entries, 79% or 126 returned passing grades. The school achieved in the 2014 CXC exams a 100% pass rate in the following subjects, biology, chemistry, English A, information technology, integrated science, physics, technical drawing, and EDPM. Of great concern is principles of accounting that returned a 17% pass rate. 69 candidates at the Gingerland Secondary School offered themselves for the 2014 CSEC exams in 28 subject areas. 80% of 410 returned passing grades, which is an increase over the 75% realized last year, 2013. A pass rate of 50% and above was achieved in all subject areas except Caribbean history, chemistry, and social studies. Clothing and textile, economics, French, geography, integrated science, music, physics, Spanish, technical drawing, EDPM, and physical education and sports, and building technology in construction returned 100% passes. At the Charles E. Mills Secondary School at Sandy Point, 62 students sat exams in 20, 27 subject areas for this year, 2014. Of the 399 subject entries, 74% or 296 returned passing grades. Excluding social studies, there was a greater than 50% pass rate in all subject areas of which agricultural science, single award, economics, food and nutrition, French, home economics in management, principles of business, and physical education and sports attained a pass rate of 100%. There were 47 students taking the CSEC examinations in 24 subject areas at the Virchiles High School this year. Of the 329 subject entries, 82% or 271 returned passing grades. Except for visual arts at 33% and integrated science at 42%, all subjects returned a pass rate of 50% or more with agricultural science single and double award. Washington Archibald High School entered 122 candidates in 29 subject areas. Of the 933 subject entries, the highest number of entries at any one school for this year is returning 100% passes. 2014, 86.81% or 810 returned passing grades. No subject returned a pass rate below 64% and 100% pass rate was realized in Agricultural Science Double Award, Clothing and Textile, Economics, French, Home Economics in Management, Information Technology, Physics, Technical Drawing, EDPM and Physical Education and Sports, Building Technology in Woods, and Electrical and Electronic Technology. At the Lynn Jeffers School in Nevis, now renamed the Nevis International Secondary School, five students were entered in 10 subject areas. Of the 23 subject entries, 78% or 18 of them returned passing grades. There was a 100% pass rate in Caribbean history, geography, 
information technology, social studies, Spanish, and human and social biology. The Sadler Secondary School entered its first cohort of reform students this year. 64 of them were entered into 27 subject areas. Of the 429 subject entries, 70% or 292 ent entries returned passing grades. 100% pass rates were realized in literature, food and nutrition, home economics in management, physical education in sports, and building technology in woods. Less than satisfactory passes were obtained in French, geography, physics, Spanish, and visual arts. I wish to especially commend the principal and staff of the Sadler Secondary School for this extraordinary showing on its first sitting on the six examinations and for giving us the 2014 second best performance in CXC across the entire Federation. Commendation must be given to the Washington Archibald High School for having the highest number of subject entries and maintaining a consistent performance over the past four years. Commendation must also be given to the students of the Bastia High School and their teachers who all the word is placed rose above the fray to give the best average performance at CXC for 2014 O-level examinations. I now move to naming the most outstanding students at CSEC or O-level examinations um, this year. We have from the Bastia High School, Ms. Kimley Knight, with 13 subject passes and 12 distinctions. From the Sadler Secondary School, Mr. Sheldon Richards with 12 subject passes and 10 distinctions. From the Bastia High School, Dwayne Mills with 11 subject passes and 10 distinctions. The Bastia High School again, Philman Roberts with 13 subject passes and 9 distinctions. The Charles E. Mills Secondary School, Kendra Maynard with 11 subject passes and 9 distinctions. The Charlestown Secondary School, Brianna Brantley with 11 subject passes and 9 distinctions. Noelisa Swabi of the Charlestown Secondary School with 10 subject passes and 9 distinctions. Again from the Charlestown Secondary School, Camille Wilkin with 10 subject passes and 9 distinctions. The Washington Archibald High School, Taji Hamilton with 10 subject passes and 9 distinctions. The Bastia High School, Shamiana Cross with 18 subject passes and 8 distinctions. That is 11 subject passes and 8 distinctions. The Washington Archibald High School, Javan Nisbet with 11 subject passes and 8 distinctions. The Charles E. Mills Secondary School, Dijani Laplace with 10 subject passes and 8 distinctions. Again from the Washington Archibald High School, Samuel Oyebifun with 10 subject passes and 8 distinctions. The Bastia High School, Raisa Herbert, 11 subject passes and 7 distinctions. Charlestown Secondary School, Justin Herbert, with 11 subject passes, 7 distinctions. Jael Gums, with 11 subject passes, 7 distinctions of the Washington Archibald High School. Jaron Dolphin, from the Charles E. Mills Secondary School, with 10 subject passes and 7 distinctions. Shannon Morton, of the Charlestown Secondary School, with 10 subject passes, 7 distinctions. Orion Stapleton of the Charlestown Secondary School with 10 subject passes and 7 distinctions. And again from the Charlestown Secondary School, Ajari Brown with 10 subject passes and 7 distinctions. I now turn my attention to the Caribbean Certificate of Secondary Level Competence or the CCSLC. This is a competence-based qualification which attempts to respond to the changing demands of education and is designed to certify the knowledge, generic competencies, attitudes, and values that all secondary leavers should have attained by the end of school. Students who successfully complete the CCSLC would also have achieved the following, a foundation for further education and training, expanded opportunities for entry-level employment, and opportunities to articulate their qualification with other programs such as the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate or O-Level CSEC examinations and the Technical Vocational Education and Training programs in TVET. In order to obtain this certificate, a candidate has to pass five qualifying subjects over a maximum of five years. Of the eight schools that wrote the examination, passing grades were returned as follows in English, Mathematics, Integrated Science, Social Studies, 
French and Spanish. The child's emails achieved an overall pass rate of 98%. The Sadler Secondary School, 96%. The Washington Archibald High School, 91%. The Bar State High School, 90%. The Keown High School, 86%. The Virtuals High School, 81%. The Charleston Secondary School, 72%. And the Gingerland Secondary, 62%. It is hoped that through public sensitization, the CCSLC will gain currency, which would lead to an improvement in technically trained persons and as a result, improved employability of our young people. In conclusion, I should say that the 2013-2014 academic year has been a very successful one. At Cape, we've had slightly improved pass rates in both Nevis and St. Kitts over the past year. It is apparent, however, that much work needs to be done in a number of subject areas to ensure that our students get the very best uh, chance and opportunities of achieving success in their studies. At CISEC, we have had an unprecedented number of students performing exceptionally well. Their names have been mentioned above. Overall, student performance has been highly acceptable. The Ministry of Education takes note that although there has been improvement in CXE O-level mathematics this year, we should not be complacent. We continue to encourage schools to enter students to sit for the CCSLC exams as well, because this, we believe, would help in building a foundation for the future and for making sure that there is a match and create foundation that is needed in the core areas at the lower secondary level. As we close this chapter of the 2013-2014 academic year, we look forward to another year with great expectation. We intend to capitalize on our strengths and replicate our successes while working incessantly to conquer our areas of weakness and promote even greater success among our students. Let us then continue to pray for even greater resolve and commitment on the part of our teachers and educators and education sector managers. And may we work together as parents, educators, and members of the wider society for the continued improvement of our education system and the overall empowerment of our young people through education. And may God bless us all. Thank you so much. <laughs>